Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and I'm going to show you how to set up email forwarding using three of the most popular free email providers that being Gmail, Yahoo Mail, and Hotmail. Odds are you probably use one of these three or maybe all three because sometimes we test out different email to see what we like. Using Gmail it's actually really easy to forward emails elsewhere. We just log into Gmail and then we click on the settings link at the top right of the screen and then underneath that on the settings page we click on forwarding and pop. Pop means post office protocol by the way and then you can choose to forward a copy of incoming mail to and then you put in the email address I have it going to my frostaside.com email address because I have all my email there and then you can choose what you want Gmail to do with it you can either archive it meaning it keeps it uh, and just sends it to the archive or you can have it sent directly to the inbox and, or you can just have it delete it I choose to archive it because I like using Google's uh, search mail function which uses Google operators and it's really convenient and plus you always have a backup copy of your mail which is also good and being that there is currently at the time of this recording 2901 megabytes available for email storage there's really no reason to have Gmail delete it so I would suggest just having it archive at all uh, the next one I'll cover here is Yahoo Mail. Now I'm in the beta interface, uh, but you would go to the mail options. Whether you're using the beta interface or the traditional interface, it should be the same way. And then on pop and forwarding over here, now unfortunately what they say is upgrade to Mail Plus. So you can download your Yahoo Mail in an email client such as Outlook forward your Yahoo Mail to a different address. If I click on this, Yahoo forces you to pay twenty dollars a year just to have this feature I don't feel like paying them twenty dollars a year so what I will do instead is click on the vacation response you can enable an auto response during a vacation and then you can set the auto respond time uh, it's September right now so if I set this to uh, let's see one two three four five six six months ahead to March 16 2008 and just say I do not use Yahoo Mail anymore. Please email me at my new email. Put email here. And then you can just send a sample copy, and that's simple. So now it says, Do you want to save your changes? Press OK to save your changes. I'll say OK. And then Anytime someone sends an email to your Yahoo account, it will say this vacation response. Now I'm going to disable that because I don't use my Yahoo mail, but it is that easy and you just save the changes. Now in Windows Live Hotmail, uh, I am also using the newer interface. On the right side, you have options. It's not easy to see, but it is over here on the right side. And then uh, under the themes, you can go to more options. Now if you don't have the enhanced interface you will not see this menu. It will just go straight to the options page. Now here it says you're using the full version of Windows Live Hotmail try the classic version. I have a fast connection so I use the enhanced version. Now to um, th this is not an easy option to find. I actually had to look around to find this but it's right here forward mail to another email account right under manage your account not very obvious but this is where it is and then you can say don't forward or forward and then click and then type the email address you want to forward the mail to you put in your email address and then just click save but it does put an important note here that forwarded messages are deleted from Windows Live Hotmail now if you're using Gmail you can archive everything but if you're using Hotmail it does not archive them once it's forwarded it is forwarded to that other address and absolutely deleted from Hotmail entirely but see the nice part about this is that they offer it for free you do not have to pay for this which is good and I'll click save and that's essentially it so with the Gmail way you go to settings and then you go to forwarding and pop for Yahoo Mail Beta, you can either pay Yahoo or you can just go to Vacation Response and set up a six month response. Uh, anyone who emails you will get that within six months and then they'll just send it to your new email address. 
and uh, for Windows Live Hotmail you can go to the settings and then just go to the forwarding portion and then check the forward option and type in your new email address and there you go that's how to do it so happy emailing everyone <laughs>